Man, I'm telling y'all, if you listen to the music and the way uh, Rhythms is and a lot of these rappers from Chicago, if you check out the melodies, the cadence, the way they write and they raps, you hear a lot of GBE Capo, you know, his signature and a lot of these guys, man, to be honest with you, you know, I know people been rocking Mason, my Jillas, and niggas been here money, but Capo was like one of the first guys to bring that to the hip-hop community on the Chicago side and shit like that. I kind of believe he was like the first guy to be claiming that glow game too. Remember uh, Chief Keith and them, everybody was saying glory boys and shit like that. But I recall Capo putting that, you know, swag to it and calling it the glow gang. You feel me, man? Capo was decent too. I kind of believe Capo would kind of be on like a... Uh, uh, Migos level, a skipper the flipper, some shit like that. Maybe a little bit bigger than Breezy, you feel me? Because Copper was that man, even though he wasn't Chief Keef and he was kind of like a Chief Keef protege. I think Capo kind of stood on his own, you feel me? I kind of believe he invented the mumble rap for the Chicago rappers. Because Chief Keef, don't get me wrong, he kind of had the mumble swag a little bit. But Chief Keef flow did not sound the same way it does now. You can tell he was heavily influenced by Capo because Chief Keef got a lot of rhythm songs and shit like that. I think Capo was a decent artist. You know, one thing about it is you've seen some beefing on the internet and beefing with the Migos and shit like that. So it's like most of his videos, he was in mode. But I did a few interviews. People said he was a funny dude and shit like that. You feel me? So, man, to keep the guy's spirit alive, y'all go check out some of his music. And most definitely subscribe to my channel ASAP. But that.